guys in this video we are going to update user profile with the token so I have um, started my server so let me clear it's not very clean okay so now it's clean so I will start I have start my server so inside the route uh, we have route register route profile data get the profile data get the profile data uh, profile get the get auth profile data and we will update so for the update uh, we we'll use the put method okay put request method so uh, let me comment here like user profile UBDD update okay so use a route dot put we will use the put and then we'll say PRO a finally profile so this is a get profile okay so that's why different route we can have um, saying um, URL okay because we have different route I mean different method put and get that's why PRO a finally profile that's okay and we will say the same thing uh when when you need to update profile the user must have a key in order to update the profile that's why we we'll use plt cd protected protect that we just um, created in the middleware auth this one okay so after uh, we have key we will uh, say essence handler hn uh, h ASYNC it should be ASYNC okay I will go back and set up ASYNC whatever it is it, it, it doesn't matter but um, I don't want to make a typo here ASYNC and so we change here and we need to change in our here as well and here as well a lot of work here uh, out here as well so everything is fine and so as you see the error is gone so if I change something it's watching it's watching me all the time okay bro no problem so it's a handler after that ASYNC essence and then IEQ and IEX so we have request and respond for this as well so uh, after we have got request and a respond we will find and for sure uh, if if the auth user need to update the update it update his or her data it should be fine the authenticated user first find the ID the requested user ID okay requested that auth user ID and then if we find the user we will do we will perform the updating part if uh, I mean if we don't find like s we will say no user found no user found like this okay full full and so uh, we will have if we use our file we will we will um, define the username will be sending or the user want to update only the email or only the username or only the password or something like this that's why it need to be uh, optional so how can we do so if user update the username so the two parameter email and password should be optional so like this user dot name will be iq dot body dot name so this this uh, request a name has been provided by the user to be updated this okay more username but if not like all operator username will be username the same the same data will be the same from the user model okay and user email email -E -E if request body dot email will update if not all operator uh, user dot email will be user email the same thing so uh, for the password like we need to check with the if condition if request dot 
body dot password is is uh, provided by the old user to be changed. We will say user dot password will be uh, eq dot body dot password, and then we will say um, const ubdd update uh, update update that user update that user uh, await and same bit we will say user dot save so that user will be saved it may will be updated by the requested body okay requested body data so it's too far away okay cool so if it is updated data so we will return response the updated data like this okay this updated user ID name email is admin created at the token generated token this generated token uh, this generate token uh, will be also sent back okay so like this okay cool so yeah that's it so let me go and test our API so I will duplicate duplicate uh, to be profile not copy profile upd ade profile update so for this one profile but not the get it will be put so in the header inside the header we need one thing to do uh, we need a key in order to update the profile but i don't want to um, um, type all the time like this okay so what i'm going to do is i will say if the user is locking, if the user is locking, like okay, like like header, we will not use this one. Authorization, maybe bear token, and uh, b e b e r e r token. I think it should work. Ah, this is the locking. No, I don't. Ah, uh, profile. I mean. Header, we don't have uncheck here. Authorization, bear token, and I will paste here. And I was sent. For sure, we will get the error. Error, error, error. Okay, so uh, we cannot send like this. Mm, 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 mm. How can we send? Okay, so I will cancel and i will set up the environment if the user login say no environment at environment i will at environment say react app and then set the variable token and therefore so after that i saved so here i have already saved and user profile I will go back and here test we need to uh, type like pm mean postman environment uh, set token will be uh, pm dot respond json token okay so like this if you set up like uh, environment variable for the postman uh, you don't need to type token again and again it will uh, update the token respond token automatically with the authorization so if i uh, go to authorization i need to add like uh, Kali break, type Kali break, and token like this because this token has been um, created in uh, our React app variable. Here, this token. Okay, so um, then uh, when you hover, is initial is 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 I think is initial is null right now. So if I log in, I will go and set here. If I send the token has been sent. If I go back to pro yeah as you see the current token we see our current token is here so after i log in the token is updated so profile i will get so right now without um header authorization i don't need to add again and again bear authorization blah blah so authorization i choose uh bear token and token so you just need to create the variable uh, environment i mean environment here and you just need to add this token and one more thing in the login you need to set up this okay and add the login 
and then for the profile uh, if we if we delete here uh, let me check yeah it's not working so we'll go back and send the login and then profile yeah it's still working because we just need to add this uh, PM postman environment set token PM response JSON token just in our login route okay so it will be updated token for every route uh, so I would just send yeah so it's working so here authorization we choose bear token I mean here bear token and I add like okay I will delete like this I will show you calibra get token and then yeah so our token here so whenever you send you can edit so this is profile update so for the update um, I will choose authorization will be bear token and the token will be here so uh, we are now we have a key now okay so we can um, update our data so I will update the raw data with the JSON format uh, if I say setting uh, okay I will just add here content type content type application JSON ah come on application JSON so we have application JSON so we can now update okay I will update the name I will update the name because we are now logging with the admin so super admin okay super admin no superman admin as you see super admin now it's been updated uh, okay cool so um, okay I will now I will update the email I will show you the email as well so if I update uh, email, just email. So email will be as you p e s u p a a d n y n at me at n o d no dot com, and then press. So uh, super admin no dot com it changed and super admin is super admin. So and then I will update like password p s s w r t password p s s w r t yeah. So I will update one two three four five six seven eight very secure password and sent so it's um, updated let me log in with the um, email will be as you p e r a d m i admin so password we have already changed one two three four five six seven eight okay now we have got one two three four five six i find sent error invalid email or password okay so if i add like six seven eight our secure password so we have got our token back so it may password is updated suba admin at no dog on email is updated something like this very simple so um in this video that's for all for this updating profile and in the next video we will do for the products route thank you guys see you in the next video